Hello humans, it's Trish aka Ice Siren and in today's video I'm gonna make it short, I'm gonna keep it sweet, I think I should reverse that, I'm gonna do a room tour, I'm gonna show you guys the progress I've been making in the last few months and uh, show you guys the things I was able to salvage, show you guys the things I've replaced and yeah just keep those good vibes only right you guys recognize that bad boy starting the video off with my tapestries that i was able to salvage you can see that my good vibes only which is the name of the podcast that i'm going to be starting uh if not by the end of this year it will be starting in january it's going to be the good vibes only podcast where we only spread good vibes and positivity so definitely uh keep your eyes peeled and your ears out for that but uh moving on i also have my mermaid tapestry that i was able to literally pull off of my walls uh i don't know if you can tell the corners are pretty uh pretty ripped pretty messed up because i literally had to rip them off the walls uh in my room to salvage them i washed them thankfully none of the black mold had set in yet so i was able to uh salvage my tapestries i was actually able to salvage my rainbow tapestry as well and i gave that one to my sister just so she had something to hang up in her room but uh moving along i have this wonderful beautiful amazing comfy memory foam look at that memory foam bed shout out to b uh beatrice is uh one of the really awesome close friends that i've made and she actually really helped me out with this super comfy bed i was sleeping on an air mattress for a while if any of you are keeping up uh yeah and that was really starting to kill my back if any of you know i have pretty bad arthritis and uh yeah it was starting to get to me so very thankful for this bed again shout out to b you are the true homie uh but moving on um blanket was a donation from another friend kiki you are the homie i love you so much i gotta have you on the channel sometime and like do an art day or something let's set that up kiki's my homie uh she's a co-worker she's a friend she's honestly like a sister at this point she really helped me and my family out so shout out to her love you love you love you uh the the blanket was a donation there's a few other things around here that she donated but uh let's keep going um i was able to salvage a lot of my crystals thankfully i pulled these literally out of the mud i was able to save my little buddha he is cleaner than he's ever been because i literally sat in a shower for hours scrubbing and bleaching the mud and mold out of everything that i salvaged so uh, a lot of things are a lot cleaner than they ever were um i was able to save a light uh, from my streaming setup that was up in the top of my closet thankfully it was up on the top I was able to save that um, I got this crafting cart that has all of my cannabis paraphernalia and some of my crafting supplies oh check that that uh that vibe trap supply plug right there this is uh, my business cards. I was able to save a few of these. If you haven't yet, definitely check out my Vibe Tribe Supply YouTube channel. I also have an Instagram. I have uh, a bunch of stuff. I'm working on a bunch of stuff. But uh, got some more crafts down the floor. Got my gay, uh, my gay calendar that I just bought. I saved both of these pieces. I had those for a while. Um, you might recognize them from videos before. I bought this really cool Nightmare for Christmas 3D poster. I don't know if you can see it moving, but uh, I bought these little mermaid stringy lights. Uh, they have the tails, as you can tell with my name, Ice Siren, uh, Siren Mermaids. I am quite obsessed with those. So yeah, um, moving along, I have uh, a freshly packed bowl that I'm about to smoke. Actually, you know what? I have this filming and I'm just gonna take a hit because that's that's 
that's how I would do it. This is a horrible angle. Oh my god. My dumb chin. It's definitely more often. <coughs> oh no! <coughs> the video cut out. I did hit it. <coughs> you can see if you look. I hit it. Oh god, my water. I just exposed myself. It looks like poop. <coughs> we gotta keep going. Um, I got my pop dolls. Uh, keep your eyes peeled. I will be posting um, a review video of another little pop doll. Um, Funko Pop advent calendar that I'll show you in a second. Some of my jewelry that I have custom made. Um, the, these ones are mine, but some of the other ones are for sale. I have more that I'll show you. Um, more stuff. My streaming setup. It's not as glorious as the one I had before, but it's getting there. I just got my webcam in, so I should be able to start streaming. Uh, pretty soon, thankfully. Uh, I was able to salvage this Kid Cudi poster that I got from a friend. Thank you very much, Suki. You're awesome. Um, a painting I did. I was able to salvage one ticket from a drag show that was on my wall. Uh, I actually had my um, my tripod up in my closet. My mom gave me those boots. I was able to buy some new pairs of shoes. Um, I don't know if you guys have been, uh, keeping up with everything, but, uh, after the hurricane, we had lost pretty much everything. I didn't even have a pair of shoes to my name right after everything happened, so that was pretty humbling. Um, all the shoes you see are new except my Converse. My custom Frickin' con this is oh my god these are these angles are so bad okay my custom Space Jam Converse can you believe it the one freaking pair of shoes that I was able to save from my house were my most expensive custom Space Jam Converse so I'm very I was very happy um I only was able to find the one of these for like a week and I almost gave up, but I, I kept going, and thankfully I did, because I still have both of them. Um, this basket my mom really wants. Kiki gave it to me, though, so it's, she's not getting it. Um, this, uh, this was actually given to me by an ex, and I never took it out of the box, but then uh, the box was ruined, so I had to. Um, I got some coloring books. The one brat doll I have uh, left... Uh, that's the advent advent calendar that I'm making a video of. Uh, it's 13 days up until Christmas, and I already did the first one. So definitely uh, keep an eye on my TikTok. I'm gonna be doing reveal videos on there. TikTok is the same name on here. I Siren, go check it out. Um, I got a new ring light, like an official, like oh my gosh, look at me, I'm a streamer ring light. I used to have like a really little one, so uh, I definitely upgraded. I was able to save my my Angelou quote, uh, some of my wigs, some of my jewelry. I actually got a new TV. Oh my gosh, it's me and Alicia. Um, hopefully we will be Twitch streaming again soon. I am hoping to get us back on there as soon as possible to give you guys a little heads up on how we're doing. Um, but anyways, I got myself this really beautiful orchid. Uh, it was one of the most like unique ones I think I've ever seen and I just needed some some life in my room to make me feel a little better um, I have this really cool Dresser that my dad's work donated to us um, It's really freaking pretty and apparently it's pretty expensive. So that's kind of cool. Um, I also have uh, I was able to save <laughs> my uh, it's like a towel, but it's like a robe, and it's actually really comfy, and, uh, for any of you that saw my birthday video of us camping out on Cayo Costa, I tripped really hard on mushrooms in this, and it's very sentimental to me, so I'm very glad that I was able to save it. Um, I was able to save my To the Moon Kid Cudi Pass. I wasn't able to save my hat, sadly. But it's okay, you know, things happen. Um, I have a box of 
pictures somewhere, but let's just keep going. Um, I was able to save some of my cowboy hats. Um, I was able to save all of the paperwork to the parts that I had on my desktop. So if there's anyone out there that wants to help me uh, rebuild my desktop, that would be really awesome because that's going to be really hard. Um, I don't mean pay, I just mean help me figure it out because that's going to be hard. But anyways, let's keep going on. Uh, closet, yes, this is a Demon Slayer costume for all of you anime fans. I make a very sexy Tanjiro. But anyways, uh, my cheerleading pom-poms from high school. I don't know how the fuck I was able to save those. Thankfully. Thankfully, they were up in the top of my closet, and the water only got to about here in my in here in my closet. So all the stuff up there that I had in my closet was saved. As you can see, I have some. Ow! Oh! Oh! That's not good. Um. This is Sarah, the Triceratops. I've had her for a long time, and she's cleaner and more beautiful than she's been in a very long time, and I'm very thankful. Um. I definitely have more stuff in here. Um, I have my ukulele. I have some of my camera equipment. I have my uh, shout out to uh, Taylor, my sister's best friend. She got me this Eevee uh, from Japan and I actually was able to save it. Sadly, the tag that was on it that was in Japanese, I was not able to save, but I was able to save little baby, uh, baby Eevee, so that's good. Um, I was able to save, I have a kalimba that my friend Suki gave me. Um, I also have my, like, really cheap drone I was able to save. Some hats. Um, I just bought that Apples to Apples for Christmas, so we have a, uh, a board game to play. Um, as you can see, I'm starting to save up some tip money. Um, I don't know if any of you uh, pay attention to what goes on in my life, but uh, I was going to go to Puerto Rico for my 30th birthday next year, but sadly, things have changed, so I'm trying to figure out what to do for the big 3-0, so if anyone has any suggestions, please drop them in the comments below. I would love to hear what maybe you guys did for your 30th birthday so I can get some inspiration, because I need, I need to think of something really cool. Uh, I want to leave the state of Florida, but I don't know where I would go, so help. <laughs> Anyways, uh, was able to save some clothes. This is my uh, flags uniform from high school. Um, this is a dress that my mom wore. This was my bridesmaid's dress to my best friend's wedding. Um, just some sentimental pieces. Uh, my Aunt Patty that passed away, her jacket. Um, I actually was able to save the elephant that was hers as well, but I keep that in my bathroom so me, my mom, and sister can all feel her energy. Um, I have a few other sentimental things in this crate down here, and then I have my camera bags. But yeah, that's... that's everything. Um... <clears throat> That is the tour of my room and all of my belongings that I have left. Um, yeah, that's that's it. Um, probably more than half of what I just showed you I have purchased within the last almost three months. I can't believe it's been almost three months since Hurricane Ian happened. But uh, yeah, most of it I have purchased um, or I've had donated, everyone who has donated, um, I just want to do a quick shout out, Ruben, Haley, Siri, Lauren, Alec, uh, Chloe, B, Kiki, Teresa, I mean, anyone, I'm so sorry if I haven't said your name, there's Kristen, Kelly, uh, I had people send me care packages that I haven't even really talked to in years, and it's just, it's a very humbling and hard experience. Uh, I just had my first official session with my therapist today and just talking about it. She said something that really resonated. She said, you've been through hell and back and you haven't quit. You keep going. You're resilient. and..." 
that's it. You know, I'm resilient. Now I just got to work on my weight. <laughs> I've been feeling really self-conscious about my weight lately. Um, I've missed being able to have dance as my outlet. And with my ankle injury and my back injury after my car accident, I haven't really been able to physically put a lot of energy into that. But, uh, <clears throat> I'll get there. I actually had a doctor's appointment today as well, and I'm going to see a new podiatrist. I'm going to see a pain management specialist, and hopefully uh, start doing some physical therapy for my back and my hips and my ankle. Because <laughs> I'm falling apart and I'm not even 30. <laughs> it's not fair. But uh, yeah, I'm going to end this video on another question. Uh, what did you do for your 30th birthday or what are you planning to do for your 30th birthday? Or if that is not a birthday that's up next, what are you planning on doing for your next birthday? Or what is the coolest thing you have done for your birthday? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear uh, what you guys did and if it's something really friggin cool i'll share it on screen next video so yeah thank you guys i uh am finally starting to feel like i'm able to tread water um i'm no longer drowning uh it is getting a little tiresome to tread water so i would like to find some land soon <laughs> but i'm a chug -a lugging along and yeah, uh, Christmas is right around the corner, so uh, happy holidays. Hope you guys all have a safe, happy holiday. Uh, hopefully I will upload another video before Christmas, but knowing how things are lately, I'm just happy I'm able to upload it all. So thanks for watching my bullshit, guys. Um, if you have any suggestions of things you'd like to see, if you guys are liking this vlog style content, let me know. Um, and then definitely let me know if you guys are interested in seeing more original songs. Uh, I am getting back into writing, uh, poetry, rapping, and uh, I'm thinking about starting an OnlyFans, but not for super sexual content, just for my dancing content, so I have one place to put that, like my dancing and smoking content, because that content I can get banned for a lot on other platforms, so I'm thinking of moving all of my cannabis content to OnlyFans, or if there's any other, uh, like, cannabis-friendly media sites, you guys want to let me know where I can create content and not get flagged, that'd be dope. But I'm going to end this video. Thank you guys so much for, for watching. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.